So, John, um, on the bench on Saturday, just talk us through your recovery and how you've got to this point. It's great to have you so near a comeback. Yeah, no, definitely. It's, be, it's good to, to be back in the fold. Um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a tough, tough grind. Probably the first few months, uh, I couldn't do too much. Um, was in the brace, um, but once uh, out of the brace, I started to get moving again, getting the strength back into the hamstring. And yeah, I'm probably a few weeks um, ahead of schedule, so uh, it's just, it just feels good to be back. So remind us what you did, because it feels like a really long time ago, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was in pre-season against Burnley. I literally just stepped across a defender, hamstring, hamstring went. So um, uh, obviously having a scan, I knew it was it was a bad one. So it was. They told me uh, three to four months. So um, yeah, it was a. Um, it's that fem bicep. I don't want to get too technical, but fem bicep, um, hamstring injury. How frustrating has it been to watch the first few months then? Yeah, no, it's tough because you want to you wanna be involved. Um, uh, you know what you can bring to the team. Um, but seeing how the, how the boys started, you know, I was just looking forward to getting back. So that was uh, a bit of motivation to, to getting back in the squad. And watching Cole Stockton get to 16 goals already thinking, I could be his competition, I could be alongside him. Yeah, no, he's great for, for, for himself and, and the squad. He's, he's not only his goals, but his all-round game is, is, has been very good. Like, you know, you could see the boys want to play him in early and um, you could see he's, he's a finisher. So, yeah, it's good for the boys and, and long may it continue. So on Saturday, you get to be on the bench against Buxton. I can't imagine any worse games <laughs> to be sat on the bench. Nothing to do with Buxton. It was just yeah. a horrible day, wasn't it? Yeah, no, nah, the conditions were, were shocking to be fair. So I know the boys, we, we had to do like a professional job. Um, no excuses. Um, but listen, it's, it's part of it, you know, and it's, I think because it was like an FA Cup tie, it felt, you know, like, you know, something may happen, but the boys did, did very good over, overall. Have you seen conditions like that before? Not too bad. I've been in Scotland, so I've seen yeah, I've seen quite a bit. But um, yeah, that was I was very cold <laughs> that day. So uh, hopefully it's a bit a bit better uh, on Tuesday tomorrow. And I guess Sunderland away, chalk and cheese, isn't it? You've got the stadium of like a fantastic stadium, and just a couple of days ago it was Buxton. Yeah, definitely. I think that's um, that's what we're going to be facing. You know, there's you know there's like teams like Sunderland, Bolton with with bigger stadiums. Uh, you know, big atmospheres and uh, we have to just stand up to it. You know, we've got a, a great squad, you know, most of the boys are coming back, back in. So, you know, I know the boys are looking forward to it. I suppose the other thing now is to put the cup out of your mind and to think, right, it's the league now, massive league games, and it'll be January before the cup again. Yeah, listen, we know the importance of the league. Uh, we need to um, start strong, especially take, take uh, each game as they come, but start strong against Sunderland and uh, that'll bring us that momentum going into Portsmouth. When you get to these big games, Sunderland, Portsmouth. I suppose it's important to remember that you've done well against other big sides, the draw against Ipswich on day one and then beating Sheffield Wednesday at home, for example. Yeah, definitely. You know, we can look at those games and, and, and take pride of how we performed. Um, but going into tomorrow, you know, we, you know, we respect Sunderland, but uh, once, the fight, when, once the whistle blows, that is, is, is all about us. And it's a bit of a shame, isn't it, that it's a Tuesday night game because this would be one of those red letter days for the Morecambe support, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. They've they've been amazing too. For you, you can see how they travel. Um, uh, a lot of fans, even at Buxton, you know, singing in the rain. So um, it is, it's always good for the boys to, to hear them and, and see them. And personally, for you now, is it right? I've got to show the fans what I'm all about. Yeah, I think in terms of even for myself, is is you want to show why you know the gaffer brought you brought me in. You know. Um, I know what I can bring uh, to the squad and uh, just day by day, it's just good to, to be training, getting back in, involved uh, in training full, full size pitches and um, getting the fitness up. So, you know, once the games come, uh, yeah, I'll be ready.